On season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race, contestant Asia O'Hara found international stardom in a few memorable moments. Now the queen from Texas adds a new music video that was just released and a career as a successful costume designer to her resume. We're very happy to have Asia O'Hara here with us today. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? We were I'm, just chit-chatting backstage. We were. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You're from Texas. And as are you. As am I. Yeah, Texas girl. <laughs> So here we are together. I know. How did you get into fashion and makeup and drag? Um, you know, it all was like just a big ball of creative mess. Um, in Texas, <laughs> I used to teach high school color guard, and I would design the uniforms and costumes mm -hmm. for my kids and decided one day, I kind of like this. And so um, I gra graduated from that world into the world of costume design. Um, and before that, I had already started diving into drag, and so it all just kind of goes hand in hand. When you do drag, you want to like be a part of every part of the creative process. And so, do you do your own looks? You put it all together? Um, I I have not been recently because I just haven't had time. I haven't uh, <laughs> been you know in my own creative space. But um, everything, every look that I have, or everything that I wear, um, um, the creative energy initially came from me. I do now um, hire other designers and other people to create looks for me. But it, the the ideas are always are from always. My Yours. Let's take a look at some of your glam shots. They are really amazing. Tell me a bit about this. Um, actually, this this item is um, from a lovely designer named Jeffrey Kelly in uh, Florida. Um, this shot is, is by a good friend of mine, Scotty Kirby. But um, this is like a new, this in 2019, I started moving back into dark hair, which I'm not wearing today, but um, <laughs> this was like my leap back into the world of dark hair and and, you know, glamorous beauty from the 90s, so I love it. Which is really great, the Thank red you. lips and the white and black. I yes. love this so much. The headdress, tell me more. Thank you. Okay, so this um, this was styled by a guy named Kevin Breen in uh, New York City, but I absolutely love headpieces. Um, I love wearing things on my head. I love the adornment and the ceremonial aspect of it, so this was like a, a, a marriage between glamour and, you know, kind of tribal goddess. Yeah, and it's got that showgirl, yes, you know, you share from the, the, you know. Absolutely. All, and you're tall anyway, so a headpiece <laughs> on top, you're so impressive. This is a gorgeous look. Thank you. Um, I absolutely adore Houndstooth. It's actually uh, in the brand of my, of my fashion line. And um, I hate to say it, but I love bodysuits. Um, and I love, you know, a nice, uh, structured, exaggerated shoulder. Um, I think it, it's, you know, it's so powerful. And for a long time, drag we thought was supposed to be dainty and fit. Feminine, and this is kind of saying the opposite. This is very assertive and, yes, and going forward. Absolutely. Keep going. Do we have another photo? Oh, I love this. Your <laughs> eye makeup is so Thank amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this shot again is by uh, Scotty Kirby. Scotty Kirby, and um, um, this is, you know, my fiance is always telling me, you need to be more edgy and more, you know, current and more ready to wear. So I was like, let me try it and see how it looks. Um, and this is a and lot of people's it. favorite, like, look of mine this entire year, surprisingly. I love it. We have one more. I love the color. Look at this, so different. Thank you. And this um, is a, a garment that I uh, designed and constructed myself. And, um, you know, this, I, I think of all the things we've seen, is the truest form of my aesthetic. I love color. I love feathers. Um, I love busy patterns and things that almost essentially fight against one another. Um, so this, I think, is a, a most accurate example of who I am but as a designer. But comes together. Have you evolved? I'm, I'm sure you have as you've gone through the years. I have evolved. You know, it, it's, it's more like a wheel. You know, it's like I, I, I I have all these different facets around this wheel and the wheel is constantly turning and before mm -hmm. I know it, I'm back to where <laughs> I started where but with began. new eyes, so it's great. And music, so now you have this video out. Tell us about Crown Up. Um, Crown Up, I, I, making music was never something I thought was in the cards for me at all. And um, when I decided to do it, I wanted to make music that was important to me um, and that, you know, sent a message. And you know, Crown Up is essentially about um, sometimes when you're laying in the bed in the morning not wanting to get up because you're not, you know, just in the mood or motivated. It's about crowning up and rising to the occasion and, and serving your purpose that you were sent here to do and be. So um, I felt it important to put out for the summer. I think it's important we look at it. So Thank let's you. take a little look.
wake up, put your feet down and stand up, show up, glow up, shine down, self love, sit down, listen up, buckle down, brighten up, rain down deep, get your coins like Bianca, break down, build up, forget about your Insta, chill muff, switch up, twirl like Alyssa, gloves down, boats up, bring your vernacular, age of Aquarius, so spectacular, spin turn the heat up, anytime you freeze up, flight to Ibiza, Queen Elizabeth, seven singles need ya, cause you kill the feature, praise like a preacher, dying to meet ya, brush up, cheese up, great and bell beat up, hold up, ease up, quick like a cheetah, go up, blow up, yeah I said we need ya, jeweled up, crowned up, only you can free us, welcome to the main attraction. Well, you have to do some vocal, <laughs> some vocal exercises to get all that out Guys, enunciated like, that well. Take, try to just breathe. <laughs> in the midst of that, I love the glow up. That would get me up in the morning. Yeah. For sure. So you placed fourth in RuPaul's Drag Race, mm -hmm. right? Tell me more, uh, more about that experience. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race is like the one thing, you know, I've based my life all, uh, about being prepared for the next challenge. And um, the competition of RuPaul's Drag Race is probably the one thing in the drag world you cannot accurately prepare for. They tell you to be prepared for anything at any time. Um, and the the symbol of excellence for that competition is constantly changing and evolving right. with pop culture. So um, it was, I learned so much about myself and so much about my potential and my possibilities. It was a life-changing experience. People don't recognize on a TV show like that the speed at which all of this stuff comes at you. Yeah, it's you, you show up with a bunch of suitcases full of <laughs> wigs and rhinestone costumes and just hope it works. As one does. Yes. yes. <laughs> hope it works. So you're hosting the season 11 tour. I Tell am. me about that. Um, the season 11 tour is basically a showcase of the talents of the girls from season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and I am the host, so I kind of usher the audience in and, you know, make them feel welcomed and explain to them what's going to happen. And it is, you know, the competition is great, but you really have to be in person with these girls and really see these mm -hmm. entertainers do what they do best. So it's like a cabaret? It's a variety drag show. It, we have live singing, we have lip syncing, we have ballet, we have dancing, we have comedy, we have acting. It's a little bit of everything. Costumes, and costumes, looks, the whole everything, thing. everything. And then later this fall, you're, you're going to perform in RuPaul's Work the World Tour. Yes. I haven't heard of that yet. So what's up with that? Um, so RuPaul's Drag Race Work the World is the official RuPaul's Drag Race Tour, and it is a combination of girls from multiple seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the biggest grandest, brightest display of drag in history, in the world. Um, and it's girls from ranging from season one all the way to season 11 this year. Um, and everybody's doing this. a variety show. It's it's ah. absolutely spectacular. It's it's There's something for everyone. I'm yeah, there were, yeah. Fascinating just things. the costumes, the dancing, Woo! the props, the lights. I mean, it's... <laughs> the platform it's, shoes. It's everything. It is it's the platform there. shoes. It's, it is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is awesome. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming by. I appreciate Thank it. Thank nice you, to meet Texas you. girl. I'm looking at your <laughs> eye makeup, trying to figure out how I can do this. You can see RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11 Tour, hosted by Asia tonight at 8 at the Moore Theater. And then she returns to Seattle with RuPaul's Work the World show on September 25th. We'll have information on both shows at king5.com slash newday.